All right. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Issue 53 of Comic Center. We just started like that. Boom, boom. That boom. works. Let's that roll. Works. Let's roll. <laughs> and with us today, oh, out of nowhere, we had to get him from La Ciudad de Gótica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I can't say Cotton City. La no, Ciudad no, Gótica. that's La Ciudad, no, amigos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got ourselves a Chicano Batman in the studio today doing the bad to see as we speak there we go that's only be shown on the camera we'll yeah, yeah, when yeah. You upload it. but yeah. um hello mr batman chicano batman how are you today i'm good fellas how are you doing today good 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 fantastic fantastic <laughs> more that you're here today with us. <laughs> it's a trip when you hit me up and i said to myself hey i know that guy i said hi to him once <laughs> You know, on the convincer circuit, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Right? I said that was a beautiful cape. I think that's what I said. Yeah, and I still yeah, say thank that's you. a beautiful cape. Thank you, thank you. It it, it shines, it glistens, it is, it is. It reflects the sun. Oh my goodness! Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you Where go. does one get such a beautiful cape like that? This is actually tailor made. No. Yeah, no. customized. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a so skater out of Long Beach. Mm. Uh, she goes by uh, Victoria, mm -hmm. and I'll be able to go ahead and uh, leave her information. But yeah, she was actually able to go ahead and tailor it. Uh -huh. It's uh, actually uh, based off the Adam West uh, '66 suit, oh, but shit. I wanted it two tone, mm -hmm. so then that way I can throw my. Uh, Bandana mask on and match with the cape. match with yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah there exactly. You go. There you go. I like it, dude. So it's yeah. custom made, huh? Custom made, I just like Ric Flair. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Thank you very much. Oh yeah, man. So you also into wrestling, huh? I like wrestling. I've been able to meet Ric Flair before in the past, oh. as well as Mick Foley at uh, Frankenstein's. That was truly an honor. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean, as really, Batman or, or? Uh, this was before the oh, okay. yeah, this was before Batman, and I took my brother. For Ric Flair, and then I took mm -hmm. a buddy of mine as a as a wedding present because mm -hmm. he was uh, getting married. So I took him to go meet uh, Mick Foley. Wow! Yeah, and then way back in the day, I, uh, I've met The Rock a couple of times. Wow! Oh, cool. so, oh yeah. Were yeah. You stuck between a hard place and him. Yeah, I, I totally was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, we can go off on, on wrestling, but let's let's go back a little yeah, bit. Of course. Let's. I used to say before you started doing this. When did you actually start doing this, or when did you get like this whole idea? I'm gonna be Chicano Batman. I, I'm so happy you said that yeah. because uh, the there was another understanding of it as of WonderCon. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I got to meet Jenna Frizen, mm -hmm. and oh. I went as Chicano Batman. But as she was signing, she looked and she asked me, "Do you know?" West Side Batman, and the first thing I thought of is this another cosplayer that uh -huh. that's doing the same thing as as as, as me? Yeah. I was just like, "No, who is that?" No, 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 no! It's West Side Batman. Yeah. Who is that? No, it, it's it's, it's an like image. Yeah, I was yeah. just like, what? It is. My husband designed it. I was just like, no, <laughs> yes, no, yes. <laughs> uh, and then she actually brought it up. Ooh. I was just like, oh, that's me. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. Like I I I tweaked it up, but yeah. he, he's responsible for this. She's like, she or she was totally just like. He is the main person that did that. I was just like, oh my goodness. So that's Steve Seeley. Mm -hmm. He is the whole idea of it. But the way this actually came up, mm -hmm. it's, oh, take a trip back with me, okay. to December 2020. Okay. Uh, it's a Black Friday sales. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, another comic book shop, Fat Collectibles, in, uh, in the OC. Yeah. But my wife and I, we're just going, and she sees the cowl. Oh, right. The cowl's right there, and it's just on a Black Friday sale. Huh. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. she's just like, here, I'll, I'll, let's, let's get it. And folks, uh, Chicano Batman, it's actually uh, born on uh, on December 25th. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the bell strikes midnight from the 24th to the 25th, and I just put it on. Oh, I'm nice. just like, oh, God. <laughs> wow. Oh, man, this is, I can't believe this. <laughs> and and uh, I've uh, worked conventions in the past before. Uh -huh. But in 2016, I met another uh, fellow who did an Adam West suit, okay. but it was completely modernized, and it almost looks exactly like uh, the Batman from uh, the Batman or Rob Pattinson's Batman, yeah, yeah. in the sense that it's all completely color scheme blue and gray, but oh. it's modernized. It's tactical pants, tactical gloves, everything. I'm just like, I look at him, I'm just like, that's a, that's a nice suit. Yeah. And I asked him, how much is that? She huh. was like, uh, neighborhood. Five, five fifty, six hundred. I was just like, oh, it's insane. <laughs> well, it, it, it's actually not. That's that's about the price of everything. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. So, I mean, the Doc Martens alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Docs, the the tech-enabled gloves, mm -hmm. the cape, the cow. Yeah, okay. the the prints and everything. 
Yeah. But this is this is a passion. This is a, a calling of love right here. Exactly. Yeah. This is truly the passion. I was yeah. admiring the Confucius uh, quote up there. There you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Choose a job in your life that you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> it's always been there. It's like the one thing that stays prominent in the story. I love it. I love and it. It's true. It makes it, it true. Is. Another thing, like uh, Alan Watts says, it's like uh, make work play. Yes. And you won't suffer a day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. much, you know. So I mean, it, it, there is wisdom in those words. It, it, just don't take it too literal and yeah. don't overdo it. But there is wisdom. Yeah, in there, there definitely is. You know, I'm but I'm, I'm definitely, glad definitely this, this can happen. You know, at a, a, I mean, there's been, I guess I could say Mexican representations of Batman before. Yeah. I've never heard like Batman and Drogi. Ever heard of that one? Uh, I have not actually. No, it's a Spanish movie. Okay. Um, I forgot. Some two famous comedians each play, and it's basically Batman and Robin, but it's Barman. You know, like he drinks <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Drogi, who's you know a junkie. Okay. You know, but they're dressed as Batman and Robin, and I think like the Batman's dress, like the Iron Zool or the Batman, mm -hmm. the one with the different colors and all that stuff. Yeah. But it's it's a crazy version Mexican movie. That they made. Yeah. It's also uh, the Batwoman one. Oh, yeah. the Batwoman, the screening at mm -hmm. uh, the Museum of Latin American Art. Oh, that was that? insane because yeah. they also added elements of a creature from the Black Lagoon. What? So, I mean, that's another like, yeah. movie that I love. Yeah. And, I mean, you saw, like, that mash. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, what is going on? I mean, it was something else. And then uh, Rafael Navarro, who's another mm -hmm. wittier uh, biggie. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, he was just like, oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen this? I was just like, what? He's just like, yeah, you got to see this. And, yeah. then, like, he was showing me everything. I was just like... This is insane. This is so cool. In the bikini. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. With the pisoletas. And I'm yeah. just like, that That works. I, I, I can't believe because I was a little kid when I saw these movies. Yeah. Because they were like on channel 22. Yeah. You know? <laughs> in a cine especial on Sunday afternoon. And like, dude, these guys doing drugs on afternoon TV, you know? Yeah. Whatever. You know? Yeah. I, I enjoyed the Different show. time. Different, Different time. time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Simpler time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know? And, um... But yeah, it's because of that. I mean, I was already into Batman and superheroes at the time. To me, that was my multiverse. Yes. You know, I didn't think of the word multiverse, but it was that was a, an alternative version to the Batman I was reading mm. at the time. Yeah. And it was a Mexican junkie version. You know? I'm like, <laughs> wow. The yeah. Batwoman one, fantastic. Yep. You know, first time I saw it, I was a little kid. I didn't know what to think. There were things going on in my head that, you know, yeah, you, you saw those and it was just like, oh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. I feel the same exact way when I saw the Uma Thurman doing the monkey dance in the Batman Robin. I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. that's cool. And then here we are in adulthood. I'm just like, I have this fixation towards poison ivy. I don't understand why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that happens, gentlemen. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was Michelle Pfeiffer with me with them cats. And oh, the milk. yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are we so like this? It's it that. It was before the troubles. Yeah. It was all then. It was simpler times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep, I want changes for the world, though. No, yeah. See, when I started collecting, I was Superman first, you know, Boy yeah. Scout, Barnaby. Then I wanted to get into trouble. Then that's when I started reading Batman. Oh, yeah. You know, because he, he mm -hmm. got more into trouble. He did. He was a regular dude. He had money. You know, he could do whatever he wanted. It just seemed more, like, more reasonable than yeah. Superman. You know, and that's when I changed. But right now I read everything. No. Where was your epiphany? Like, this is Batman for me. This is my Batman. I'm going to be Batman from here on out. Oh. When did you start calling yourself Batman? <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah. when I met Adam West. Really? I oh, met wow. Adam West. Yeah. He was also do he also did a sign at Frank and Sons. Nice. And I had my kid with me. My first son. Mm -hmm. He yeah. was, uh, oh, my goodness. How old was he? I think he was like three or four. <gasps> and I still remember I was brand new dad trying oh. to like figure out like how do, oh, I, how do, how do I care for a little kid. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, all right, well. Well, there's, there's Batman. Let's <laughs> let's go meet Batman. And of course, you know, like this is a long time ago, mm. and I, uh, I I was really strapped for cash, but I had a Hot Wheels. I had a Hot Wheels from the show, oh, and man. I saw the the advice or the prices, which is like eighty dollars for a signing. Okay, cool, eighty dollars for a signing. And you know, I'm just like, all right, come on, no, let's 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 go, let's go see uh, Batman. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the prices were actually a hundred for an autograph. Oh. So I was just like, oh. But, uh, you know, I mean, here my son and I, we're at Frank and Sons yeah, at like yeah. six in the morning, and there's already a line. We're maybe yeah. about the fifth people in the line. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then uh, Adam and his uh, his his uh, manager, they come out, and the manager's just like, hey, it's a it's hundred. I was just like, I only have 80. And he's just like, yeah, sorry. Adam heard it. Yeah. And we're just like, Hey, no, no, just let them, let them come through. Nice. And like right there, that's where it like stopped. Like I was just like, uh, like I was just like, oh, oh man. But well, he took my son aside and he was kind of talking with my son and he asked him, "Hey, are you eating your veggies?" And he's just like, "Uh, well, also, are you seventeen? Uh, no." 
yeah, I think you might be 17. <laughs> and just in his very like yeah. Adam Charisma yeah. voice, mm -hmm. he's kind of just like uh, speaking to my son. And then yeah. after that, he uh, goes and he uh, just autographs it to Noah. And then he looks at me, dead pan, dead stare in the face. I'd like to thank you. You're doing an amazing job as oh, a wow. dad. Bro. Oh, man. And that was it. Like, I was yeah. just like, oh, <laughs> Batman told me I'm a good dad. <laughs> oh, my God. And then from there, like, I was just like, and that's where, like, Adam West just shot off to, like, number one. Yeah. Like, I've always yeah. liked uh, Keaton. Keaton was, like, my Batman because of the 89 movie. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I was exposed with that. I was exposed to, you know, just all the early reruns in Spanish yeah. <laughs> for uh, for the 66 show. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, man. And then, like, right there, that just clenched it. Like, it was just, like, it's blue and gray. It has to be the bright night. Yeah. yeah. The and, bright yeah. night. Exactly. Yeah. And then when he did pass, I went to... Um, I went to uh, the, the memorial right there at City Hall, mm -hmm. and I uh, had my family with me, and, and I had a black cape at that time. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I went to that, too. I remember that. It, it, was, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. I mean, how was it for you? It, it, it was a little surreal, because people were all dressed up, and, and, I, and I was like, dude, this, all these people were once touched by Adam West. Yeah. I mean, all mm -hmm. these people, because everyone talking about that about their favorite episode about this about this and i'm like i was just listening because I, I don't i don't really go with anybody to talk to this but i was listening as people as I tend to do and it was all good stuff it was all like when i was a little kid oh dude can you believe this can and i'm like i guess i mean how, yeah. i mean how many decades did he entertain yeah not only the 60s the 70s yeah years, yeah you know rerun spanish you said it yep. you said mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah, I think he deserves a little more than that. Oh, know? yeah. Mm -hmm. We had to sign up for Batman Day or whatever. I mean, but he definitely changed the idea of what Batman was. He, you know? he, he totally did. And the fact that it was all, like, right here, it's all, like, based on the West Coast. Like, yeah. it's mm -hmm. just, like, you. I mean, you see the 66 shows that, you know, they're supposed to be, no, a son la otro ciudad, but no, right there. Yeah. Like, it's just, like... That's the street in the valley. I yeah. know exactly where that is. That's Burbank. That's Bronson Cave. Yeah. yeah the, the, the back Yeah, back exactly. Yeah. So, like, right there, it's just like, nah, like, I, like, seeing all that, and then, of course, it's getting that representation. I'm just like, yeah. I've always wanted to see, like, a brown Batman. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah. Cool. There yeah, you go. yeah there exactly. You go. So, yep, grew this out, and there we go. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's oh, yeah. awesome. I went to win the Bron when I found out Bronson Cave was, like, right there. I went, I sat down. It's so little, it's so yeah. tiny, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, how'd they fit the car in there? How'd they fit the car in there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a few, it was a while ago, right? Yeah. We, we went, um, a local pharmacy told us that Burt Ward was going to sign. What? And they asked if we could advertise it. And we're like, yeah, definitely, right? Mm -hmm. And we were like, can we go? And they're like, yeah, come down. <laughs> Him and his wife sell dog food, yeah. like organic dog food. Yeah. And that's what they were signing for. <laughs> And we went just to be like, <laughs> yeah. we're going to go meet Burt Ward. Yeah. And when we were waiting in line, the Batmobile pulled up. No way. And they were like, you could take a picture in the car. And I was oh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, nice. So, yeah, we, he's, got, he's got driver's privileges. Yeah. I have Robin privileges. <laughs> there you go. There's that picture out there. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was cool. And when we met him. He was the nicest dude, nicest chap ever. And I bought dog food. I didn't have a dog, so I gave it to my brother. But he's like, oh, do you want to make it out to your brother then? I'm like, no, it's for me. Uh, it's for me, but you know, <laughs> food for him. Yeah. yeah. And his nice dog. But yeah. But yeah, that was a trip. That yeah, was, it yeah. was out of nowhere. Yeah, right? we, didn't, we didn't know the car was going to be there. Like, yeah. they just brought it and, like, you know. Yeah. I mean, it was cool, but it was a little disillusioning. Because remember, we saw, like, like, we were like, oh, it looks so fake. <laughs> held up by tape. And, yeah. And, yeah. Um, it's okay. And yeah, in the back seat, there was, like, a package of water. Like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to stay hydrated, too. Yeah, he's got to stay hydrated, too. That's funny. Uh, yeah, you've ever met Burt Ward? I have. When he was uh, also there when uh, Adam West was there, and so oh, was uh, okay. Julie Newmar. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, classy That's, lady. Very classy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I never got to meet her. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah I'm going to cry now. That's yeah. all right. It's Julie Newmar. Thanks yeah. for everything. Um, Adam West, thanks for everything, too, my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now let me ask you. A couple years ago, you know, we threw the East LA Cape. At the East LA Cave, there was these uh, two dudes. One was dressed, uh, what was it? Like uh, Batman and like uh, the guy. The Vato guy. Man. Yeah. And those are uh, cosplay uh, uh, cosplay bears. I yeah. think it's uh, Charlie and. Yeah, yeah, Charlie. yeah. And, uh, oh, I, I, is it Jose? I think it's Charlie and Jose, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And they had this crazy, like, like very Vato looking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I remember those guys showed up and I'm like, are we going to get jumped by Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would not mind. If they were the yeah. ones like administering the, the potassos, all right. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you've met you met them before? I, I, I met them before uh-huh. at, uh, at some of the conventions. Yeah. So they were actually there, but they did a rendition of uh, their Star Wars suits, and then they were there as uh, Batman and Superman. And on both occasions, I was, I was just like, oh, man, that's really nice. Wow. And uh, my very first like uh, attempt at this, it was similar to uh, to, to Bottle Man, mm-hmm. because it was just a, a Calavera mask, and then it was the Dickie shirt. And then like right there, I just like paint on the, the, nice. uh, the bat symbol. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, that was just remnants of my Russian Batman suit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you uh, did it there. Yeah. Cool. So, and then after that, so how many iterations of this have you had? Oh man, so this is the newest iteration, uh-huh. and I think this is number five. Because I mean, this when this first started, it was it, it, it was bad. Oh, okay. it, it was like very, very, <laughs> very like basic. But you but you learned like what worked and what didn't, and yeah, you know, and exactly, wow. exactly. And I mean, now I could like I, my record. I think is uh, being able to stay in this for like fourteen hours, just like working a con. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All day. And all it doesn't day. get cumbersome, and you don't you don't feel it. Not at all. It's I mean everything is like super functional, and it, okay. it wicks a lot of heat. That's it also keeps me pretty warm too. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, is that Gore-Tex or like, or like, uh, I don't know. So it, it, it's straight up like Chicano, dude. Like we, the dogs are already like broken in, no. but uh, <laughs> uh, usually I have my uh, Dodger socks. So I have my, <laughs> my like, straight up Dodger socks <laughs> right there. Uh-huh. And then these are uh, the uh, baseball pants. Uh-huh. But uh, dude, the Chonies, me undies. And I mean, Whoa. those things are like super comfy. Right. Yeah. And then uh, the shirt, like uh, my, uh, so the shirt, I started with cotton. And then uh-huh. my buddy was just like, hey, like cotton, it gets heavy after a while. I'm just yeah. like, yeah. Hey, let's just let's just change it to to dry tech. I'm just like, yeah. Dry tech. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. then once he was able to do that, and then like he started like printing it, I'm just like, cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. freeze, that works. Right? You can feel that. Yeah, yeah. It's better than Gore-Tex. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I like it though. Any, any. You said you had son. Any plans of putting him to a Robin costume? Uh, my sons have. Much like my wife, much like my wife, mm-hmm. uh, they've all voiced that they're gonna do their own thing. Oh, so okay. like uh, my like I have this huge thing with uh, poison ivy, uh-huh. and my wife is just like maybe like oh. for like an anniversary, sure. <laughs> but then uh, she straight up has like a Velma suit that she that she does. So she'll do okay. Velma. Uh, my first son loved Miles Morales, okay. so I helped him make his uh, Miles Morales suit. Oh, cool. well, since then he's grown out of it, so yeah. he's just and now that the trailer's dropped, yeah. uh, he's just like, hey, uh, can you help me make another suit? I'm just like, yeah, sure, we'll totally. <laughs> do that and then uh, my youngest one just loves uh, Peter Parker okay so it's just like I mean hey, everyone kind of goes and does their other things yeah we got two Marvels against the DC and yep. you know Mr. Ink on the side that's fine yeah, yeah it completely works yeah. yeah it completely works but uh, as we're talking about it mm-hmm. I also wanted to present this because I know this is uh, one thing that I love to do <laughs> for you there you go oh my god look at oh. that uh. oh I don't even want to touch it oh yes <laughs> completely functional i mean you can put a 20 pound line on it <laughs> and it, it carries it carries a lot of weight i saw it being printed on the, on the instagram earlier today and i showed it to my buddy here i'm like what is that yeah. and he's like wow dude wow dude you're not, you know you're not to throw that i'm like no i'm not gonna throw this around i got thank you yeah so yeah, of course this is, this is the coolest thing anyone's ever given me Ever. Yep. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. want to put it, but I'm going to put it somewhere nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Probably above my bed, actually. There you go. There you go. There yeah, you go. You're never going to see it, but no, it's above that's, my, that, that, my bed. That's fine. Mental. It's completely fine. <laughs> All right. Maybe uh-huh. it's, no, I'll put it here. I'll put it here somewhere. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you very but, much. But uh, now you, it, does, it doesn't come lightly. Yeah. It's, it's, you've now been deputized. If you see anything, oh. if you see anything oh. wrong, <laughs> you, you now have a tool <laughs> of justice. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? I keep on carrying it around. We gotta get it around. Yeah. Carry it around. Yeah. Back pocket. Back pocket. So yep. Yep. Steps out of line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done. I thought I thought I always loved about the the Adam West show. He was like he was a deputized you yeah. know, officer of the law. <laughs> He was a vigilante. Yeah. Yeah. He was a full on, you know, part of the police department. Yeah, he would just go walk around broad daylight. Yeah. <laughs> Have I done that a couple of times? People <laughs> <laughs> yep. like, hi, Batman. How you exactly. Doing? With this Batman? Yeah. yeah. With this Batman could totally do that. I was yeah. totally thinking if I was decked out all in black, yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I said, that he was the bean of like the light. All other yeah. Batman's always yeah. dark and broody and stuff. This guy was yeah, he, he drove around a real flashy car, man. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like all the modern Batman, it's like tactical cars. Yeah. This guy drove around like a Corvette and shit. <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
But I, lo- I love the clips where, like, you see where, like, you know, they're chasing the Joker, uh-huh. and then they, they have to stop, and he's like, oh, we can't stop here, or this is a non-parking, you know, it's yeah. a handicapped spot or whatever, uh, like, we can't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, pull up a little bit more, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. You'll uh, stop at that stop sign, do <laughs> everything a good citizen would do. I mean, he sounds like a true chi- a true Chicano, it's just like, dude, you got a beautiful car, like, it's yeah. just, like, right out there, and it's just like, he's not hiding that, like, it's gonna be out yeah. there, mm-hmm. cruising down on the Whittier pipes. Boulevard, <laughs> yeah, all of it, and it's just like... That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh man, it's uh, funny because I, I I didn't see the early episodes until I, until the DVDs came out. I think it's hilarious. In the first episode, there's a ton of cops with Commissioner Gordon yeah. when they're calling Batman. As the show goes on, there's progressively less cops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Until it's just him and Chief O'Hara. Oh, yeah, just him and Chief O'Hara. That's it. That's all it is. It's, it's like, like did right. they fire them all? They're like, oh, Batman's got this. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're they're taking vacation time. They're enjoying themselves. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the best, man. Wow. Well, money, and then you got to yeah. get Sammy Davis yeah. Jr. paid. Too. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Those don't come to you. No, no they don't. No. That's a crazy thing. That show was so big that uh, people were fighting to be on it. Like really? the cameos, yeah. You would hear about that. How like, like I want to be on the Batman. Yeah, show. Oh, wow. they were. There was like you know that's why they had so many guest stars as villains and stuff uh-huh. because oh that was the best. They had that to find places best. for them. No show does that anymore. No, no, no show people watching no. be on. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy, man, because, like, yeah, because even, like, those are the Morticia and uh, Lurch were bad guys. Yeah. In that one? In there. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't remember that. Yeah. I heard that they had, like, they had to come up with a bunch of new characters, uh-huh. but, yeah, yeah. Oh, no shit. I think, honestly, Vincent Price was probably yeah. my favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vince, yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Once I saw that one, I was just like, oh, man, that was the best <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a Vincent Price one, yeah. Because he plays it so flamboyantly. Yes. Yeah, it's perfect for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the only way to do it, man. You got, you got to just go all in, man. Otherwise, Stamp it you know, up. Yeah. yeah. But I tell you, when those DVDs came out, I had never seen a Mr. Freeze episode. He is a scary villain in those shows. Yeah, yeah. Like He's pretty gnarly. The, that's the first time you think, like, oh, they might die. <laughs> like, oh, really? Yeah, like, yeah. it's a hardcore, man. <laughs> uh, and then, like, back then, it's just like, they turned the screen red. Yeah. So when they were doing that, like, it's just like, oh, man, like, I could only imagine, like, you know, like, back in the 80s when I, I was probably watching, I was just like, oh, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, it's, yeah, it was a different time. Like, yeah. A simpler time. Those shows when I don't think they would fly as well nowadays. I think maybe they're too campy. Well, I, I, I think I think people are really into nostalgia and stuff. Oh, yeah. So if you could play that angle, I think you could do it. But then at, at that point, it's, it's not as as good as it was before because you're trying to play them for a different mm. angle. No, it's just a tone. It's a, it's a, it's a, a tone. Yeah. But then yeah. it had a tone. And you, yeah. You just want to repeat the tone. No, you just you know you modernize it a little bit. I think you could do it. Mm. Do you think you did? M- might work as a maybe as a like an animation. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely an animation. Because mm-hmm. uh, I mean, uh, once again, here, here I go with the with the Poison Ivy. I mean, the Poison Ivy and the Harley Quinn, uh-huh. they throw a few homages out there, and it it works. It just yeah. works really, yeah. really, really well. Yeah. So um, if they're doing that, and then they get like a lot of the really good voice talent, I think they probably could. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I could see that happening. I mean, mm-hmm. with the '66, they made a couple cartoons. After exactly, that. those two. Yeah, yeah. 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 So there, there you go. With, Can was it Shatner? Shatner was. Shatner was Two Face. Two Face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, originally um, they were going to shoot a Two Face episode. Yeah. And it was going to be Clint Eastwood. Whoa, yeah. that would have been a good one. Yeah. That would have been really good. 60s, yeah. Yeah. What is Two Face? It was going to be Two Face. Could he have done that? Probably. Yeah, I think he, did he would have. He yeah. did, but what, he featured Black the Goon, right? The, the second one? Oh, He was right. in that? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. I, yeah. I definitely think he, but, uh, he'd be able to pull they, cause, off. Because a couple of years ago, they, they, they found the scripts, and they made a comic book adaptations of what it was supposed to be. Yeah. And 66 Two-Face was so weird. Mm-hmm. His whole thing was he would commit crimes. He'd go back to his hideout, and he'd flip a coin. And if it was if it came up good side, he gave the stuff back. Oh, and wow, all, man. Plus bonus. So, <laughs> wow. So like the whole thing was like in the beginning, he steals this uh this famous uh, tea set, but there was a missing cup. Oh. And no one ever found it in history or right. And so he steals it, flips the coins, good side. He gives it back with the missing cup. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he was gonna like pour some no. some Earl Grey in there. <laughs> right? He was like, oh man, that, that'd be a good little bonus. <laughs> so it was like this whole like you know like oh if he was good he you know yeah yeah he wouldn't give it back and, and <laughs> yeah. yeah that could have been fun. It's weird, yeah. <laughs> could've, could've but been it's fun. very Batman sixty six. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, yeah. You know. You know, I, I should have watched more like more recent. Cause I haven't watched those again in a long time, but a lot of them did stick. 
you know, a, king, a lot of those King Tut ones I used to yeah, love. Yeah, the King Tut ones. Yeah. I used to love yeah. those. He was the only one that those. He was very pompous. Yes. You know, he was very pompous. And I'm like, oh, God, I hate this guy. But why do I keep watching it? <laughs> yep. You and know? his whole origin is cool. He was just like a, he was a yeah. teacher. Yeah, nah, he, was, he, he, he was got hit in the head. <laughs> he thought he was King Tut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Funny, funny yeah. premise. Yeah. 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 Dude, um, we can talk Batman all day here. My Miles. favorite Batman yeah. 66 yeah. episode is uh, Joker uh, starts putting these vending machines in the high schools. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, when you put money in it, more money comes out. So, basically, the whole idea was he's trying to get kids to drop out of high school because mm. they're like, oh, I just make easy money. Yeah. <laughs> and Batman's like, oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they got to work for it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get an education, kids. <laughs> yeah. Because they all have a message. They yeah. Had, they had to have a message. Yeah. Because after that, I mean, we didn't see 66. He moved over to, like, the, the cartoon, the Super Friends. Yes. And that's yeah. we got mm-hmm. those, I guess, yeah. versions of them back. Oh, yeah. It was still yeah. so Burt Ward and Adam West. Adam right? West. Yeah, yeah. But it was a little more adulty. It wasn't as fun as those 66. No. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah, they were having, like, legit adventures and hanging out with Superman and shit. Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I had to go and hang out with that guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you kinda, I kind of wanted to see a little bit of that fun in those cartoons, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay, going into cartoons, which was your favorite one? Oh, God. Uh, almost got him. Uh, oh, Batman the Animated Series. Good, that's such a good that, that, that Poison Ivy thing, it's it's like seared. It's got yeah. me. Yeah. Like I mean, I've, I've, everything I've tried. gets on fire. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, uh, oh, my goodness, I wish I brought the book. No. But uh, I actually met uh, Diane Pershing. And I, uh, I actually have a tattoo of her, but um, oh, she, uh, she signed um, a commission I had done, and she put the quotes, t- uh, it's Midnight Darling, time to unmask. And oh. I was just like, oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> so, I mean, like, hearing that as, like, an adult male, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, got yeah. me a little too. So yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pound for pound my favorite like, like yeah. cartoon. That's yeah. such a good episode, oh, man. God, I think that's that's a good one. Yeah, that's a, good, yeah, yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that episode so many times, but yeah. it's still that twist when you find out he's the you know, crotch. Yeah. Like, he's crotch. Oh, like it's shit. just like, how did he bend the ears? Yeah, like, I, I don't understand. Like, yeah. <laughs> my favorite is when the, the the light goes in and yeah. out. Yeah, you see the reflection, the, 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 the ears, yeah. and then you see Croc, and you see the Batman. Yeah, that like, that's a great double reveal because it's Batman, uh-huh. and then all of a sudden. It's full. The whole place is full of cops. Right. <laughs> You're really like, what? The they were the whole time, <laughs> and they were none the wiser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they all confessed to trying to kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> no. Done. You guys book them. And then he was. He wasn't just pretending to be Croc. He played yeah. it up because yeah. he did that whole like, I threw a rock at him. He's a big rock. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, that was him. Yeah. yeah. That was so good, man. I don't know. To me, I, you know which one I like that. I'm gonna go with the Robin one. It's the one where he meets Annie. Oh, growing oh, pains! Yeah. yeah, you know, you're the second person yeah. lately that's been talking about uh, the, the Clayface. Yeah, like I've definitely have like seen a, an uptick in just like a lot of Clayface. I've always liked Clayface. Mm-hmm. I, I've always been a, a big fan of his like original. I am a actor. That's why I like the Harley Quinn Clayface because he's an actor in that. Yeah. You know, in the original he was an actor and he faked his death at the end of that first episode. Yeah, yeah. you know, and he faked it so well that Batman thought it, he was dead. Yeah. So he was the best. He got away. Yep. Out mm-hmm. of all of them, he mm-hmm. got away. Yeah. And to me, that was awesome. And like, no one saw it. I'm like, no, he's an actor. He faked it. And then, because he, he touches it or something, and he crumbles. And he shut her. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it yeah. crumbles. I'm like, yeah. he, he got away. Yeah. People were like, no, he died. He died. No, well, Batman was was very like, oh, he figured out the whole doesn't get affected by electricity. Yeah. So he's like, hmm. Like, he already knew something was up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, you know. Yeah, but that Annie one, though, that one kind of like, oh, man, that's messed up. Because especially when it's like, oh, he belongs to Kate. It's part of him. I'm like, oh, that's that's real messed up. Yeah. And then he gets feelings for this thing, and or I guess girl, or whatever it was. And she dies. And she dies, yeah. quote unquote. Dies. Yeah. How, how she does, though. Like, it's just like, it's like a selfless act. Like, yeah. it's definitely just like, man, we're going like completely like, I mean, just how they started with uh, the Harley Quinn. And it's just like, oh, yeah, he has a sentient Hanta. This is a teenage girl that's hormonal and going yeah. through puberty and all this stuff. Yeah. And you're getting, like, a lot of those, like, feelings as a as, as a as a teenager where it's just like, oh, man, she she did that for me. Yeah. 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 That was a good episode. That yeah, was a really good episode. Too, right, when they're, they're listening on the crimes, and he was like, and add murder to that. Or something, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh. I forgot about that. Part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about yours? Oh man, that's a tough question. Yeah, we've already got the two best ones, so. <laughs> Ooh, oh, well, animated series? No, or anything. Yeah, or anything. Or anything. We're going animated series. Yeah. What was it? Uh, crap, the one where it looks like Batgirl dies. Oh, was yeah. it Over the Edge? Over the Edge. Yeah, that one's over. That's the edge. a Scarecrow. good episode. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a really good one. 
I mean, like, story logic is kind of weird, <laughs> but you know, like it was fast. Yeah, things yeah, happened so yeah. fast that you kind of you couldn't believe it. Yeah, so, I remember the first time I saw the episode. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like <laughs> Commissioner Gordon's after him. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Because he killed his daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Gordon gets so desperate that he like hires Bane to take him out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that is rough, man. But that has the coolest scene, I think, when yeah. Batman's fighting Bane. Yeah. Bane fucking shatters a brick wall. Batman takes a cape off, grabs some bricks, and just starts beating them. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. He can't use his fist on Bane. <laughs> no, no, he had to, he had to <laughs> use yeah. that sheer force. Yeah. 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 Dude, that's insane. But the yeah. bricks, yeah, I remember that now. But it's funny, I always, I have this argument with a friend of mine, he's a big Batman fan, and when it comes to, like, cinematic Batman, mm. I still think... Mask of the Phantasm is like the best Batman Mask movie. Mask of the Phantasm was up there. Yeah, yeah. Mask of the Phantasm was good. Okay, I guess it's cinematic. Yeah, he was in the theater. It was in the theater. It was in the theater. It's animated <laughs> series, though. I mean, no, it's cinematic. It's in the theater. <laughs> uh, no gray area? I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, I like the other ones. Yeah. But Mask of the Phantasm is the one I could watch over and over, over again. Over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So you're going to go with that final yeah. answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cinematic Batman? Cinematic that one? Master Batman. Huh. Not Mr. Patterson behind this, you said? You know what? I'm not a huge fan of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Got zoos. I think I've only seen it maybe twice. All your emo here. Yeah. Like, uh, be sad. <laughs> More so. I know, right? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> nah. It's not my favorite either. You live action? Live action. You said Mr. West? Uh, it, it's, it's Mr. West. Yeah. Uh, but the newer ones, the newer ones, I'll have to, I'll have to give it to Keating, uh, to, yeah. to Keaton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was definitely thinking of uh, the little hashtag uh, Keaton gives beatings, which, uh, <laughs> which I usually exchange with a lot of my other back cronies. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, but it's uh, usually the Keaton one. That's the first one I think of because mm-hmm. I mean it's just like yeah. oh, Batwing, yeah. it goes in the, in the sky, in the sky yeah. and then comes down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see the logo, please. exactly. See the logo for a second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then there's the one with the poison ivy. I'm just like oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just like right there. Just like ooh, I like them all. You know, it's I, I kind of remembered. I just remember right now there was a, a Batman versus. Predator fan film that they made. Dead end. Yeah. With Kevin Porter, right? Yeah. What is that? Bug. Trying yeah. to get it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh. Oh, no. oh. oh man. Yeah, I, I, there was another uh, another uh, uh, filming session that I did. Yeah. I caught like something like midair. I was nice. trying to replicate it for this one. But <laughs> sorry, gents. But um, the one... That Batman. Batman was uh, Chris Porter, I think. Mm-hmm. Is that who I him? Yeah, and he it's, did it well. Yeah, yeah. it's by uh, Bat in the Sun Productions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, that one was yeah. spot on. I like that one. It had a good Joker. It had a good yeah. Batman, and that the Predator. I'm like, what is gonna happen here? Did they ever finish that? I don't think they finished no. it. No, because no. it was cool because right? he he beats one of the Predator, yeah. but the end like three of them show up or something. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then you see the aliens come out. Yeah. And it's just like, oh yeah, that, that, <laughs> that guy really is yeah. at a dead end. Yeah. 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 It's like, I know I read that somewhere in the 90s, but this is looking at it live, it's cool. Yeah. Because yeah. in the 90s, it had that robot, I mean, Terminator, Predator, Aliens, even Batman were yeah. all fighting each other one way or another. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, that, those crossovers kind of made those canons, those books a little bit different, you know? Yeah. Especially when, like, you know, stuff like yeah. that would happen. Well, they did another one, right? Like, after, was it like Batman Superman, I think? Well, they, they they've did. had a few of them. Yeah. They've had really? a Batman mm-hmm. Superman. They had a Batman versus Darth Vader. Yeah. That was nuts. <laughs> that was that was cool. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, this guy has a force. I'm sorry, but really? And he's in space. <laughs> he's in space. <laughs> right? He's in space. And he goes up against, he pulls out a lightsaber, and he goes against Darth Vader. Batman pulls out. Where does it... <laughs> He's Batman. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Utility belt does have everything. Oh, right? it? <laughs> That's his power. He has time to prepare. Where do you get those wonderful yeah, toys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was a good one. Yeah. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah. I had to look that up. I didn't know that he fought Darth Vader. He fought Darth Vader. There's yeah. one where he fights uh, Deadpool, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes a little more sense. But, like, wow, okay. Yeah. 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 The Darth Vader one, it was, it, it was a good one. And they do both sides justice because yeah. mm-hmm. there's Darth Vader wins and then there's Batman and Batman wins oh really yeah. so they did two endings mm-hmm. oh just in case yeah. you want just to complain case. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Darth Vader, tell you <laughs> <laughs> but Batman's super smart exactly yeah. Yeah. alright okay feed both our egos okay. yeah I think, I think the story was that Darth Vader somehow out captured Superman what? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything but yeah yeah and then that's why he goes is to go to, how, to free him I can't wait till Luke Skywalker fades out Darkseid. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> Could wow. Duke Skywalker deflect Omega beams with? The, like, he'll, he'll, he'll use his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he'll use his hand, burn yeah. his hand off, and just get another. Hand. Yeah, right. Yeah. They come a dime a dozen in a very <laughs> long time ago, far, far away. <laughs> Because that, that's what he did for those movies, right? He yeah. mess it up and, hey, let me get a new one. Cool. Yeah. It looks just the same like the other one. <laughs> no. yeah. All right. That's, that's cool. All right. And we're in about 35. You want to take a five-minute break? Sure. All right. Yeah. yeah. Can reload the reel. So you're back. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the cricket. Sorry. <laughs> Crickets. Okay. So, anyway, you were just showing us on the little break right now um, these beautiful pieces here. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, so we'll start with the uh, Jenny Prisons. Jenny Prisons. Yep. You can see those. Uh, of course. This is to my um, to my Martha. Uh -huh. Of course, Jenny was uh, saying, wait, your wife's name is Martha? And she's like, yeah. Oh, it's upside down. down. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> she would not like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, you go. there it is. Nice. Yeah. And then for the, the little smart those vibes yeah. right here. Nice. And then this one is... Uh, this yes. one is the, the Pride and Joy. Pride and Joy. And that's a fold out. Yep. Look at that. Fold out by Scott Blair Arts. Oof. Yeah. And, and when are we getting Uma Thurman on that? Cause... Uma Thurman? Well, yeah. also, the actress, I've been jockeying for it. Uh -huh. I think we might have a chance because Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are both in a movie. Uh -huh. The Barbie, Barbie movie, yeah. which is going to be good. But also, I really do think if Margot's there and talking and chatting with Ryan, this is actually... Eva Mendez as Poison Ivy. Oh. I made that prediction in 2018. Oh. Eva Mendez needs to be a Poison Ivy. <laughs> so hopefully I can get Eva Mendez on it too. But uh, Uma Thurman, that's going to be the next one. <laughs> and then uh, back here, uh, yeah, at the Dynasty Typewriter on November 7th of uh, this last year, mm -hmm. uh, Lake Bell released her audiobook. Yeah. She uh, voices Poison Ivy, and I mean, she does a fantastic job of voicing it. Yeah. Well, I was able to go ahead and I went to the theater, Dynasty Typewriter in downtown LA. I got in line by about six. I was first one in line. I saw an autograph uh, guy kind of come in and out. He was just like, oh, what are we going to do signatures? I'm just like, I don't, I don't know, man. He's just like, oh, you have a comic? He's like, yeah. Hey, can you sign this? I'm just, or can you get this on? He's like, sorry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> just going to be doing this. Well, anyhow, um, we end up waiting for the show, got through the show, yeah. and then as soon as she comes out, Lake Bell looks right at me, and mind you, I'm like right front and center. E. Not as Chicano Batman, okay. but just in my uh, regular Poison Ivy uh, like jacket and shirt, and I have this. I'm just like, I'm such a big fan. <laughs> well, she goes and she looks at me, hey, I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. Do you like your voice? And she's like, yeah, I love my voice. My voice is what I make, right? I need this thing to live. Yeah. She's just like, okay, well, clearly you're the most powerful man in this room. I was just like, oh, yeah. So I heard that. I was just like, like my heart was like racing. Yeah. In fact, it still kind of is as I'm remembering that. Yeah. And uh, she goes through her entire uh, experience writing the book. She has other uh actors and comedians uh one is a uh, tignataro from mm. um, uh, helicopter pilot from uh, army of the dead i think yeah, yeah. and uh, she actually goes and signs in, in the back yeah, she she signed it right there uh -huh. but uh as the show uh, ends everyone kind of funnels out and i'm still thinking i still want to get her autograph so you know i just still sit there and i see this one little old lady kind of come out she has glasses she's kind of looking around her husband's seen him behind me but she motions to her husband. Of course, I don't think that she's talking to her husband. I'm just like, oh, she's, she's waving at me. I'll just go there myself. So I go all the way into the back room. Looks like a nice little tiki lounge back there in the green room. And I see Lake Bell all the way at the corner. And I just go with my size 13s, <laughs> take like three steps. And then I get to her. She's like, Miss Lake Bell, I'm such a big fan. And then she looks at me and she's just like, wait a minute. You're Mike. You're Witty Mike from Whittier. I'm just like, yeah. You're just like, what's up? I'm just like, would you be able to sign this? She's just like, and as soon as she says yes, I feel a little tug on my shoulder. I'm just like, and it's a, it's it's that, sir. Are you part of the production team? I'm just like, uh, no. Who let you back in here? I was just like that lady right there, <laughs> and, and then like Bill just goes and signs this. I'm just like, thank you. I'm such a big fan. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah, and then I just go. I walk out. That autograph hound's just like, how'd you how'd you get it? I was just like, 
beach mean, but got it. Yeah. <laughs> Just left. So that was the prize. That was the prize, gents. I like that he got back to the guy, too. Yeah. Like, Check with that guy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the pride and joy right there. Perseverance, homie. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's beautiful. I, I, I look forward to the finishing of that, dude. Once it's framed, I, I look forward oh, to I that. can't wait. I, I know you're framing it. Oh, it's going to be framed, and <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just like, oh, man. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it definitely sits like right there in like, the mantle of the poison ivy. Yeah, that is what we call a family heirloom. Yes, yes, <laughs> gentlemen. There you go. Yes. There you go. I believe in that. I believe in that. I believe one day your children will be telling that story to their grandkids and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my oldest son, he has his uh, he has his Adam West uh, car. Nice. My wife now has the Jenny Frizen comic that mm -hmm. was my favorite. And she's like, yeah, now it's hers. And then uh, my other son, what does my other son have? I'm sure he has some other thing. If not, he'll get, he'll he'll, get something. He'll, he'll get something. Yeah, 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 he'll get something. I like that. I like that they're, you're, you come from a family of nerds. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. My yeah. son just taught me how to play Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. What, what did you become? Uh, I became a... Maid of some sort? No, no, no. I am actually a bored... No, a bard uh -huh. warlock? Oh, okay. I think I'm a bard warlock. Okay. I think so. And he, and then after that, him and his cousin, they were just like, oh, yeah, we just wanted you to play because you would add, like, so much humor and jokes to the to the campaign. I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. well, all right. That's what yeah. the part does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I did that. And, I mean, like, two days just, just like, spent on a campaign. And yeah. it flew by. I mean, I had no idea they could, they could like, <laughs> fly by that quickly. I once spent almost a week on a campaign in my when I used to play. Oh, man. And we would leave the thing there and come yeah. back every day, and every day, four or five hours, four or five hours. Yep. And that's insane to me now. Yeah. You know, that's really <laughs> insane. But I see how that can be addicting. And a bard is good because bard helps with stats. Yeah. You know, it helps the morale in the group and yeah. all that stuff. So I, when I first played, I used to be barbarian or you know, warrior levels. Yeah. So I just plowed through stuff. But I didn't realize the, the, the value of these second characters. <laughs> I'm serious. It, yeah. and, and then I realized that game sucks, and then I quit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah now my, my kid is just like anyone. I'm just like, all right, sure. Yeah. Get into this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but you had a good time, though? I, I enjoyed it. Dude, okay. it flew by. Like, uh, I, uh, I was uh, talking with my wife, and my wife was just like, Hey, like uh, my sister wanted to thank you for taking care of the kids. So I was just like, oh yeah, that's cool. No, like you took care of the kids like for two days. And she was like, well, yeah, it's, it's fine. Oh, I, I, I really enjoyed what, what I was doing. I mean, I can't tell you like now like any of the spells or anything yeah. that I did, but I'm just like, all right, I'm just making a couple of kids laugh and you know throwing a bunch of dice. So yeah. Win win. That's fine, dude. They say what they say. It takes a community to raise a child. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. what they won't learn with their parents, they'll learn from their uncles, their, yeah. their neighbors, etc. You know, so we gotta be careful. But at the same time, yeah. it's a valuable thing that it can happen. You know, um, I don't know. To me, that that's that's awesome. The fact that you're able to share the stuff that's been going on for like years. Yeah. You know, and they're sharing. With you though, yeah, exactly. Like you're mm -hmm. learning from mm -hmm. them, yeah. you know, a game that's like 50 years old, 50 years old, yeah. You know? But I don't know, you're gonna see the movie, take them to see the movie. I already did it. Oh, yeah, they, we already oh, saw it. Yeah, we totally saw it. Yeah. yeah, we saw it. We made an entire day out of it. We uh, got to to Bakersfield. Uh -huh. I didn't even get a chance to like take off my shoes or anything. And as soon as I get there, they're just like, all right, let's go see the movie. Woo. I'm just like, all right, cool. So I saw the movie and then I took him to a couple of, uh, I took him to a comic book shop over there. Mm -hmm. And then I took him to a, a game castle oh. or like a Paladin castle. So they got like extra little uh, monitos and things. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, from there, from like a uh, Saturday, like three o'clock all the way until Sunday, like four or five, <laughs> we were just like playing. That's beautiful. Man. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> And, and you know, if you really wanted to, you could make a Batman type character. Especially with the 3D printer. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You could make Chicano Batman uh, D&D, you know? I like this. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, maybe like, a, not an archer class, but like a, like a, like a, like a swift, fast class, you yeah. know? Something, I don't know. What would you make them? Huh. That's a good one. I'm gonna yeah. think about that one. I like it. I like it. All right. Yeah. As soon as this happens, I'm gonna draft up some uh, plans. There you go. And uh, yeah, we'll start uh, printing them out. Yeah. And there we go. We'll have a nostalgia comic exclusive. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The kind of Batman D&D thing. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Exactly. Can't wait to see those stats. It's crazy. <laughs> yep. Wow. You say you have a 3D printer. Where did that come from? I mean, you said one day I'm gonna buy a 3D printer and. 
my kid. Oh, really? <laughs> the same kid that got the Adam West car. He, he comes up and he's just like, hey, uh, I, no, 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 we were talking about uh, Christmas. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? I want a 3D printer. I'm just like, I have a, I, I have an Epson. Uh-huh. No, it's a 3D printer. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, where, where do I find this? Oh, you can find it at Micro Center. I'm just like, Michael's? No, no, Micro Center. I'm just like, oh, all right. Where the real nerds go. Yeah, so then I, uh, I took him and then... Homie did his research because uh, another Black Friday special, hundred bucks, three D oh. printer. I'm just like, and what does this let you do, Dad? It's gonna make me completely creative, and I'll be able to do anything. I'm just like, okay. So I go and I buy it for him, set it up for him, and he helps set set up because I made it. But yeah. like, dude, like he's like super like technologically advanced. So he's yeah. just like, nah, Dad, it's like this. And then uh, from there, once he started printing something out, he was just like, hey, you should try it. I'm just like, I think I will. And then. That just did it because now him and I were like always printing things out. <laughs> yeah, they say kids are just born with the iPad in their hand now. It's yeah, right. It's scary. <laughs> it's cool, but it's scary. I was I was doing some stuff with HTML code, and I got help by someone that's less than half my age. And I was like, wait a minute, how'd you learn this? Oh, YouTube. I spent like two minutes on YouTube. I'm like. It took me 20 years to learn how to do this. Yeah. Technology, you know? yeah. Now, two, 20 minutes and you're, you're showing me up? Damn. Yeah, when I think of HTML, I think of like the old school MySpace pages where, yeah. you know, you had to like go and put in your code to get like that one special shade of blue. Yeah. 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 Now, now it's like the CSS code. You got to associate it with the HTML. It's, it's a little bit different, but at the same time, these kids are picking it up way faster. They're picking mm-hmm. it up way faster. And I'm st- I still have the question. Yeah. What do I do with an NFT? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do with an NFT. <laughs> Like I, I purchased two. Uh-huh. Well, one of them is actually on here. Okay. It's the the Frank Cho Poison Ivy. Oh. Okay. I purchased it, yeah. and I don't know what to do with it. But my buddy that does the printing, he's just like, oh yeah, I could print an NFT. I'm just like, cool, print it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, but other than that, I beats me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You own it now. I own it. That's that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't own the original. Or it's the NFT. Yeah, it's the NFT. Well, I do have the Frank Cho comic that he was able to do a remark on. Uh-huh. So, uh, I do have, but I got one of those. <laughs> it's not the original, original, but hey, yeah. he marked on it and he put I love Chicano Batman. Yeah. There you go. There you Frank go. Cho. Frank Cho is a unique style. Man. Yeah, he is. Yeah. 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 So we see Sean McConaughey in the year 2000 or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. He got a little thing sketched out on my sketchbook. On oh, that. yeah. What was it? Uh, it was one of his characters from Liberty Meadows. You remember uh, Liberty Meadows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that Brandy. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got that sketched out from him. Oh. It was quick. Now, you try to get something from him, you got to pay and you got to, you know, wait in line and stuff. Back then, there was no one in line for him. I believe it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, some image Yahoo with some big breasted chick on the cover. <laughs> exactly. That was it, you yeah. know? But yeah. I mean, he was special. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And I was able to go ahead and get that out of Com because he got a, I think he actually got a glow in the dark battering. So I was just like, hey, Mr. Frank, here's a mm-hmm. cat of coffee and here's a battering. Can I have a remark of poison ivy? Oh, yeah, thank you for the stuff. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. You got to You got to smooth them a little. We got to smooth them a little bit. A little, little bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. Once people get a battering and they're just like, it's right there. It's just like, it's all for you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How elated was I when I yeah. just saw the thing being printed? I'm like, that says coming. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So with all the artists that I uh, work with and that mm-hmm. I visit at cons, mm-hmm. uh, and I usually let them know that once they get that, if they have someone that's getting a little too handsy, feel free to chuck it. Mm-hmm. And, I uh, like those disclaimers. Yeah, I can't yeah. Really chuck. I'm, I'm scared to chuck it though. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be a special someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but a very special individual. It's Just it's here it's you go. It's not that thief. Mm, no, he's no. So ugly. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, that's why you tie the tether on it. Just get a tether, and then there you go. Back. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. That's crazy, man. We're gonna climb the side of the building later. (laughs) 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 Exactly. Exactly. You open the window. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ask you. I saw you notice in Legos. I noticed on your thing you have a lot of Batman Legos. I'm happy to say I have every single official. Batman Lego minifig. Every official Batman, even the mariachi Batman. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Got of that course. One. Got him. Right. Got Disco that Batman. I know Got him. There's, oh, uh, uh, the, again, the, uh, as, uh, I, can't, I can't say his name. The weird Batman yeah. with the multicolors. Uh, the Batman of Zurina. Uh, Zurina. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, say that three times fast. <laughs> Batman of Zurina. Batman of Zurina. 
Ben Azurna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say Azurna. <laughs> Yeah, that one? Yeah. That, that one's a cool one. I like that yeah, one. yeah, that's the 2014 San Diego exclusive, I yeah. think. Yeah. I like that one. I, I just got that Batman one that's up there uh, with, the, with, the, with the Cesar Romero mustache. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. That's very nice. That's very nice. For that Cesar Romero yep. must, mustache. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He's my favorite. He's a, he's a Chicano also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he was like, and that's the one thing I loved about him was he's just like, I'm not going to shave my mustache. Yeah. I'll just paint it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was perfect. Yeah, that was completely perfect. But yeah, that was silly. Oh, he's a joker. That was perfect. That's yeah. 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 Uh, he, ha, ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, um, uh, right, let's talk about a little more about, like, I guess, um, forget, what's his name? Uh, who just died? Uh, he used to play Chanok. I don't know who Chanok is in Spanish movies also. Mm. He used to be a superhero in Mexico. And he used to be in comic books in Mexico, like Caliman and all that stuff. I don't know if you ever read any of those. No, I haven't, but you know? I'm, I'm very, yeah. very interested. Well, the, the one of the guys that played him just died, like yesterday. I've heard his name. Right? Yesterday. Yeah, or yeah. yesterday, yeah. Yeah, he just died. And I... I I remember being a little boy and watching these stuff. And, and, this stuff, and the, these were movies... That I guess were before these superheroes that came, and to me these are just tough guys. Yeah. Like Chanuk was just a guy with a nice tight shirt that would punch dudes and hang around with a monkey. You know? <laughs> yeah. As you do. As I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Kaliman, he had like a magical jewel, and he can, you know, he's he, he the powers of that. Um, there was also like a like a mandrake a type of a magician. Mm -hmm. I remember in the, the, the comic books back in those days, and again these were comic books I got kind of. Around the same time I started reading comic books, so they're like, oh, you're reading comic books? Here, read these in Spanish. I can't find those anywhere. But as you know, as time progresses, people are starting to find these more and more. Yeah. You know, do you think there's a possibility that could become a thing? Like, let's Oh, I hope so. You know? I hope so. Yeah, yeah I totally yeah. hope so. I mean, I'm just oh, saying, because, yeah. I mean, there's stuff there that people don't know about. And mm -hmm. right now, since this whole, like, resurgence, oh, Namor is a Mayan. Yeah, you know, that we're, was nuts. We're touching yeah. up, yeah. heavy, you know, ethnicity-wise, I guess, uh, or, you know, because Mayan's all the way down in yeah. Mexico. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's not saying, oh, he's an Aztec or somewhere in the middle. No, we're going Mayan. We're yeah. going all the yeah. way down there, yeah. you know, the little tail. In Mexico, <laughs> exactly, you know? exactly. So I mean, and Blue Beetles coming now. Yeah, I mean, it's more. It's it's. I can say there's more Hispanic representation coming out in movies, mm -hmm. and it's needed. And it's it, needed. it's needed. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. totally needed. But I mean, as far as other ethnicities go, I mean, do you think we're winning? I think so. <laughs> you think so? I, I definitely think so. And pop culture, yeah, I definitely think so. Yeah, I, definitely think so. so. Yeah. I mean, there's more Hispanics in space right now, and Star Trek, Star Wars. I mean. Yes. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. Of before, course. You know? yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying we're winning this. Yeah, game. we are. Okay. We are. Uh, yeah. Now yeah, we told Larry we, we're <laughs> definitely, uh, we're, we're, we're getting it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're definitely getting it. Yeah. And and this is something again. When we were kids, we would never. No. Never yeah. The back. idea of a Chicano Batman with a beard. Yeah. No. No. Right? no never. Yeah. Never. Like you said, we're uh, talking about uh, Charlie and, and his partner. That blew my mind the first yeah. time I saw it, right? Yeah, exactly. There, there was another guy, uh, Han Cholo. Remember yeah. Han Cholo? Han Cholo, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And his wife and his little kid, Arturito. Arturito, <laughs> Arturito is legendary in the cosplay circles. Really? Yeah, Arturito is, yeah. I remember meeting those people for the first time, and I was like, oh my God, that Leia, she was like, I would not fuck with that Leia. No, no, no. I actually work with uh, with uh, Mexican Wonder Woman. She's, oh. a, she's a teacher in, in uh, one of the schools I'm at. Okay. And I mean, at first, like, it was... Was just like dumb luck like we were just kind of like chatting in there and someone said oh yeah hey baby. i was just like hey, well. but then she was just like what's that got with the chancla i was just like nothing and then she was just like you know the chancla right i'm just like yeah and then she actually showed the picture i was just like wait that's you and then i showed her my picture and she's just like that's you i was just like yeah yeah so i mean yeah, the, that's the secret identity yeah, yeah exactly that's crazy. So I mean, I've seen her. I'm not, I I didn't know you knew her. I that's, know her. That's yeah, that's yeah, nice. yeah. I know her. Wow. Yeah. Lucky guy. Oh, the oh lucky. The yeah, yeah. The chunkla is just like you. you I'll fuck with that. No, <laughs> no way. Uh -huh. Dude, that's crazy. So I mean, we need more Hispanic. We need more characters like that. Yeah. You know, we, I mean, I guess mm -hmm. with the new Spider-Man that just came out, he's yeah. Hispanic or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But we need more. I know Ghost Rider became a, a, a Hispanic for a while too, but I think we still need more. Yeah. You know, I need more. Uh, I want 
Do you have a Superman that's Hispanic? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, there, kind there, of, there was yeah. a there was an animated uh, mm-hmm. film okay. where he crash landed, I think, in Mexico. And he's okay. uh, yeah, 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 he's raised in Mexico, and he's like yeah. straight up like Chicano Superman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and animated? then that one, huh? Animated, mm-hmm. you said? Animated. Yeah, it's okay. a yeah. Gods and Monsters. Gods and Monsters. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. wait a minute. That's where he landed? It was Mexico? Uh, yeah, he landed like, like in the border or something like that. And, like, oh. and he gets found by, like, the uh, fucking, uh, what do you call them? He gets found by people, uh, yeah, it's on the border. Yeah. And then he disappears to Mexico. Okay. And it's like a whole thing, yeah. And he shows up out of nowhere. Uh, sort of. Is, is he playing like the cartels or something? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm gonna have to find this one. I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah, it's know, pretty good. I yeah. And then that one, uh, Batman is uh, what's his face? Freaking Man Bat. Um, Man Bat. Freaking Langstrom. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's Batman. Doctor Langstrom. Yeah. Is the Batman? Yeah. He basically like the formula. Basically turned him into a vampire. Okay. And so like he has like advanced reflexes and stuff. Oh. And, yeah. Well, he's voiced by Dexter. Yeah. I think I've seen this one. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen this one, and no, I don't think I've seen this one. And then Wonder Woman, she's from like New Genesis. She's yeah. like uh, High Father's granddaughter or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this yeah. all sounds familiar. Yeah. But I, I might have seen it, and I might have just forgotten because that's the way my brain works sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I mean, the new Supergirl, Kara in uh, the Flash. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, she's Chicana. So oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, I know, I know. Her. She's Tikana herself, but not the character, right? We don't know yet. Oh, hopefully okay, they, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they, yeah. they have yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're tripping me out with that. Uh, that could be a thing. They found her in Juarez, Mexico, and they brought it over to yeah. Star Labs inside here. <laughs> yeah, I can believe it. Yeah. Comic mm-hmm. books are weird, man. Yeah, they are. 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 I mean, I know you brought those, but are you reading anything else right now? Uh, you know, I am. What, what else? Uh, kind of. Just or not? Yeah, I just finished the Legion of Bats. Mm. Uh, I kind of got into um, something that's killing the the children, mm. mainly because of uh, Jennifer's, and she was just like, "Hey, have you read that one?" I was just like, "Not yet." Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's definitely one I got started to uh, kind of get art. into. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I love the cover art. Yeah, yeah. 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 And essentially, that's uh, what else. Uh, yeah, I finished uh, Caden Phoenix's um, uh, Ala Brava. Mm-hmm. Uh, other ones that's that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it. Yeah. i like that legion the bats that in between seasons so yeah, yeah i mean it's it's entertaining yeah. it's it's completely entertaining i'm just like all right well there you go no, not because it, it ends that way like she becomes part of the bat yeah movie, right and it just picks up right there yep and we're they're gonna skip over this part i guess and when it comes back to the show but there's a lot to you know yeah there's, there's a lot going on her, did you read it yeah. yeah yeah she goes up against poison ivy yep. her, own, her own you know Girl. That's her boo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So there is a lot of conflict in that book, and uh, I enjoyed the way it ended. Yeah. You know, because at the, at that point you're like, I'm ready for the cartoon. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. can't wait for the cartoon. Yeah. Uh, Human Target. I know. Uh, oh, I'm waiting uh, for the last uh, last issue of that one. It's out already. I think. It is. Twelve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Oh. I was gonna say something. Good day. Good job, me. I was gonna say, well, you didn't read this part. I was like, wait a minute. That was in the last issue. Yeah. It's a good ride, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. is. I've been enjoying it, man. Yeah, I've definitely been enjoying that, it. Uh, what do you call it? Like a detective kind of. Very know, noir. Very yeah. noir. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah, noir. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I don't know. Like, the whole Guy Gardner thing kind of got me at the beginning. And I don't know. I don't, I don't want to spoil too much uh, yeah. before you read the last one. But yeah, it's a good read. Yeah. yeah so I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Yeah. And then, uh, what else? Uh, I've seen uh, just a few of the other like uh, one-offs, mm-hmm. and yeah, that's that's pretty much about it. Hey, man, it, it, I understand because sometimes it gets overwhelming. All oh the yeah, stuff that comes out, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. you gotta learn and pick and choose your fights. Yeah, especially when it comes to the cover art, because cover <laughs> arts, if same thing with the Lego Batman. So I mean, if I was to like be like as uh, hardcore as some of the other uh, uh, Lego people that I follow, mm-hmm. I mean, they're they're. They have basements dedicated. Yeah, yeah, they have basements dedicated, and they have like entire boxes. And I mean, me, the only reason I've been able to like hit every single Batman is just because I already have like a really good system of all right, I got the Batman, mm-hmm. I don't need these parts. And then like I know people that are just like, oh, we want those parts, and we want the like Nightwing. Like I know people that love Nightwing. Uh-huh. I'm just like, I'm not doing anything with these Nightwing. <laughs> just go ahead. And then same thing with the poison ivy. With the poison ivy, like it's already like to the point where it's just like, all right, I have this much, and I'm looking, and then my, I, I like being in good graces with my wife, so I'm just like, I have enough space right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, is, exactly. this is for you, honey. This is yeah. for you. I love yeah. It. I love it. 
Are you going to collect the Poison Ivy Legos, too? Because I know there's a couple of those. Oh, you have them. You have them all? Yeah, I, I, I have them. You have the jumpsuit one? Yeah, I yeah, I got, I got the jumpsuit, and I've uh, already tried making a few um, different customs. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, I have the Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. She mm-hmm. makes a fantastic Poison Ivy if you just switch out her hair. Huh. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, right. green. Yeah, yeah. it's green. Yeah. It's green, green, but hey. Yeah, exactly. I like it. I don't know. I'm going to try that. I'd... So do you play with Legos a lot? I'm sorry. Going back to Legos. Uh, like play with Lego as in like modifying and like yeah, kind of like yeah. building. Yeah. yeah. So I have like an actual uh little uh bat. Uh, and well, it's part of the Adam West uh, set, but mm-hmm. I've also kind of added from uh, different other uh, uh bat caves. Mm-hmm. And I mean that's what I have like in in my area. Uh-huh. But then once you like kind of cross into like my son's rooms, oh my goodness, they have. They have like I'm I'm really jealous of those guys. Like, I'm just like man, if I was a kid, I'd be just like, you guys have everything. Yeah. So I mean, and right there, I mean, there's so many times where they're just like, hey, dad, you want to go and you know like play with us? I'm just yeah. like, our loser has to go and do this. <laughs> and luckily, sometimes I don't lose. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna I'm ask you a question, and it's weird, but if you don't answer, you have to answer. When you were a kid, did you have toys? Oh. I love this. I love, <laughs> love, love this. Yeah. Because, all right, since we're... So the idea of Chicano Batman, yeah. it's all coming from uh, from Adam West, right? right. Yeah. And Adam West is just like, hey, you're a really good dad. Right. Like, that like meant a lot to me because uh, it's, it's it's hard but true. But, I mean, as, as a Chicano guy, it's just like sometimes you might not have the dad in there. So, I mean, yeah. that's one thing that I have is I'm just like, I kind of have that, like, absence. I'm just like... What do I do? Yeah. And a lot of that was, you know, I'm also the the second born boy, okay. so I had like a lot of hand me downs. Mm. And then if I did get something, I'm just like, oh, right, I really like this. And then my mom would come, hey, you know what? Your cousin oh. is younger, and they they kind of want to like enjoy some stuff. Could you like play with them? I'm just like, yeah. So they, <laughs> so I mean, like I did have like some things, but I mean, I remember a lot of just like, hey, this is really cool for your cousin. I'm just yeah. like, all right. But sharing is caring. You know? Sharing is caring. You know what? But I, in a weird way, that's kind of a lesson you kind of take now. And you're sharing technically your toys with your son. Cause no, you yeah. buy, you're the one that's buying them. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's like, true. You have that money because, you know, as an adult with no kids, you can buy the toys for yourself. But you yeah. have a kid, you're not going to buy them for yourself. Yeah. You're going to be buying for them first. Yeah. Whether it's food, whether it's clothes, whether it's toys. You know, you come second. Exactly. That's why your back cave's never going to be as cool as his. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I see that. I'm just like, there's like things that are like, you know, like, like hanging. I'm yeah. just like, yeah, this is so damn cool. <laughs> and then I go to my room and I'm just like, okay, I got my, I have my Batman Legos. So I'm just like, it's, it's like an L shape now. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's perfect because it's like right there and you know, it's what I wake up to. So I wake yeah. up yeah, my wife's right there, but you know, she's like, ah, <laughs> Batman's right there. <laughs> 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 yeah, bad, bad. Just ah, oh, oh yeah, right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that gives you peace of mind. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's totally there. She's just like, uh, I mean, she's cool. Yeah. She she's supportive, and she's just like, all right, well, you could be into way worse things. So I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so it's just like, yeah, that some poison true. ivy, some Funko pops, and Lego. Ah, we're good. He's a big kid. Dude. Exactly. He's the biggest mm-hmm. kid that we know right now. Hey, right? I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take seriously, it. Seriously, I mean, truth be told, I'm a little bit jealous. You know, you get to, because when you, we, we said two options. You're in coming costume or not coming costume. I so wanted you to come in costume. I didn't tell this guy. <laughs> I so wanted you to come in costume. Because the illusion is, is, is part of this whole thing. Yeah, right? Exactly. So people could have been hearing us. And be like, well, what does he look like? You know, I could have put a Pogo post p- pictures up and people were like, oh, okay, cool. But this that we're recording, they're going to see and they're yep. going to be like, holy shit, they had a Chicano Batman. It's Chicano Batman. <laughs> and it's Chicano Batman in the suit, comfortable, living and breathing. Yeah. Yep. With the excellent, excellent fucking costume, by the way. I'm going to tell you. Thank you. Time, Thank you. It, it made me happy the first time. Like I said, Latino Con, I saw <laughs> it. I love the cave. Yeah. And, and said hi, you know. I, I don't do that to any cosplayers. Of course, you guys, you know, anything like, you know, you have to fucking be yeah. like 100%. Same mm-hmm. thing with the, the Charlie and the other guy. Yeah. I don't remember knowing his name. You know, or Han Cholo, I had to go up to him and be like, dude, awesome representation. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. As soon as I saw them on Instagram, I was, yeah. like, I had to reach out, especially to Charlie, because he was Watho Man. I was just yeah, like, Man. dude, your idea on the cape. Yeah. Like, thank you so much for that idea, man. Like, uh, like just it, it's amazing it's it, it's i have nothing but respect for like yeah. what you guys like like how you guys like bust out the cosplays because it's it's 
freaking mind boggling. It's nuts how cool it is. And they do them in pairs, apparently. Yeah. You know, they, they saw Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum yep. they've done together. And I'm cool. They have cool. Mario and Luigi. Yeah. They had uh, the Night King and John and John Snow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just nuts how they can like be like so intricate and it makes everything work. Yeah, and it's not like they have to be the same thing. They're playing off against yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, they're from East LA. Yeah. You know, they're from around that. Are you from East LA? I'm a, uh, I'm Whittier boy. Whittier boy. Yeah, okay. I do a lot of Long Beach things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Hey, Whittier is like, I, like I tell people, people that get money in East LA usually end up in Whittier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yep. That's usually how it goes. Or usually how it went back when I was growing up. Yeah. Um, but it's it's right there. We usually go to the movie theater right there and uh, Greenleaf. Oh, nice. You know, yeah, the dollars. Starlight. Yeah, yeah, Starlight. Six dollars on Thursdays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing gets weirder. You, you know Javier Hernandez. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. Here as well. Yeah. You know he's a, he's a, like I said before he was the only guy from Whittier I knew that made comics and stuff. Yeah. You know only guy. You know that's yeah. the only that was his, that my thing with him. You know. Now I know the only cosplayer from Whittier. Cosplay. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I Batman. Yeah, and I, I love the rockabilly music. So I mean, it's just like if you're in Whittier, it's just like, hey, you gotta be like part of the rock. Yeah, rockabilly. Yeah, rockabilly. Yeah, exactly, out there. man. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, you mentioned rockabilly. You into rockabilly? Music? I love rockabilly, yeah. man. And yeah. Stray cats and all that. Uh, definitely Batmobile and uh, Cramps and who else? Uh, there's there's uh, one other one that I've really loved. I love the Cramps. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Batmobile awesome. is awesome, dude. Batmobile is awesome. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Two other albums somewhere in my house. I'm like, holy crap, wait a minute. Yeah, man. Chicano Batman we were listening to earlier. Right yeah, like, exactly. Chicano Batman. I'm still working to the point where I could be just like, can I go to your show? Yeah. <laughs> Please. All bad twos? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll give you a battering. <laughs> Please. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's crazy. But I mean, I just mentioned uh, Batmobile. That's been around for like... 40 years old. Yeah, so that's nuts. It's, it's, it's so like, damn cool, man. We were in high school listening to that stuff, and that was hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know. Hey, I'm sorry. It's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good listen. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good listen, especially if you're Batman and dress and like driving a Batmobile. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hearing to Scott, it's like mm-hmm. a little bit above Scott. Oh, yeah. You know? uh, I might check it out. Not check it out. Hard. All right, all right. I know you do. Party hard with this uh, uh, Yeah, you know. <laughs> Re- Reverently so. Reverently yeah, right. so. Yeah. <laughs> He's a specials kind of guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I... Uh, all right, so um, at this point, let me ask you, do you have any more shows coming up where people can find you or anything like that? Uh, next big show, uh, I'll be uh, San Diego Comic-Con. That's oh. uh, the big one. Oh, nice. But, uh, I mean, any other, like, small, like, shows that are around, mm-hmm. I'm more than happy to, like, kind of just go and, uh, and attend, kind of just promote, really mm-hmm. worry, raise awareness. Okay. Uh, even some people have, like, just go and gone and started rec- reporting crimes to me. <laughs> so people are just saying, hey, there's been a break-in at this comic book shop. Someone's lost a car. And, like, you're a true, <laughs> friendly neighborhood Batman. Let's uh, keep an eye out. Yeah. 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 That's cool. You know what? In a weird way, like you, you deputized me earlier. Yeah. You kind of deputized yourself when you put on that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's cool. And you know what? Having said that, go ahead and give yourself a plug right now because I want people to know how they can reach you or how they can get in contact with you so they can get you for anything that they need. You know, like you said. You know, crimes or cosplaying events. Yeah, crimes, cosplaying events, any yeah. type of charity events. Mm-hmm. Uh, by chance, if you folks know anyone that maybe might need uh, assistance within a hospital, uh, wellness visits, awesome. I do those. Oh, uh, cool, you cool. can reach me at mgarcia5159 on Instagram.com. Uh, Instagram.com, there I am being <laughs> old again. Instagram, mgarcia5159. The kids say IG now. IG. IG. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. The kids, you said. The kids, yeah. The youth. The youths. The youths. The youths. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And with that, I'm going to thank you again for your freaking time. We are awesome and elated that you were here. And of course. And told us, hey, can you put a Chicano Batman on a show? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you fit anywhere here because, I mean, we're two Chicanos from East there you go. Yep. You know, yep. We love anything Chicano. That's we we grew up. It, it was thrown down our throats to the point where, like, we got nothing else but that. Exactly. <laughs> you know, people say, "Oh, you're from Mexico, part of Mexico." I'm from East LA, dude. That's yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> you know, but um, anything you want to no, say before no, you go? Anything good. you want to say before you go? Shout outs or anything like that? Before? Uh shout outs, of course, to yeah. my friends uh, at uh, Ray's Flaves Comic Book Hideout. Nostalgia comic book, comic centric, Caden Phoenix, Rafael Navarro, 
Of course. Let's go Whittier. Let's go Whittier. All right. There you go, go folks. There have a great go. night. Thank you very much. And you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. All right. Cool. Very nice.